What's up everybody, Shattuck here. Recently, people have been asking me about things like my graphic settings, my video settings, my resolution, and my vibrant settings. So I thought that in today's video, I would cover all of them and help you guys implement them in your game. I haven't really made a video like this before. I've really only made montage videos on my YouTube or on my TikTok. I just make a variety of videos. But I think in the future, I'm going to try to make more guides, more tips and tricks, or more videos like this. And if you want to see more or you just enjoy my content, then make sure to leave a like, leave a comment, maybe even drop a sub. Yeah, that's it. Let's get into the video. Starting off first with the video settings in game, display mode, full screen. Everyone knows you need to play full screen. Reduced input lag, it just looks the best. Play uh, fresh res. For my aspect ratio, I play 1610 with the resolution of 1680 by 1050. There's a few other 1610 ratios like 1728 by 1080 or 1650 by 1080. But this is the this is the resolution I prefer. Many other people like Lyric, Fade, those people use it as well my brightness i like to play 65 because it's kind of bright but it's like not too blinding my monitor is also pretty bright so it's kind of a sweet spot for fov i play 110 um i think that's what most people play i think people like shiv and maybe like shroud play 90 fov but generally i just prefer 110 FOV ability scaling, you want to have that on disabled because let's say you stim on Octane, that is going to um, just mess up your sense and all that and you're just not going to be able to aim. For sprint view shake, you want to have this on minimal, just, just easier, it just looks better. Um, for V-Sync, I'd recommend having that on disabled. For NVIDIA Reflex, um, I have it on enable plus boost, so I can get more FPS and then reduced input delay. Adaptive resolution FPS target, I have that on zero. Or you just don't, you, you don't need it. Anti-aliasing, I have it on off. Um, Anti-aliasing kind of makes edges like more blurry. It's gonna make it harder to see enemies in the distance, so. For texture streaming budget, I usually have it on medium or low. Um, occasionally I have it on none. I can get like literally zero textures like everything is smooth and flat but usually I keep it on low uh, texture filtering you want to have that on bilinear just you don't really need it to get better FPS you just want to have it on bilinear for ambient occlusion quality you want to have that on disabled again another thing that will burn FPS for sun shadow coverage and sun shadow detail you want to have both of those on low it's just an unnecessary detail. For spot shadow detail, you want to have that on disabled. And volumetric lighting and dynamic spot shadows, you want to have those on disabled as well. All of those things are just kind of settings that will make your game look slightly better, but they also use a lot of FPS. For model detail and effect detail, I have model detail on high and effect detail on medium. Like marks and ragdolls, I have those on disabled and low. For impact marks, you don't want to have those on. They're just an extra thing that on your screen it's gonna use more cpu load and for ragdolls it's also just another thing that's gonna use more cpu load um that's it for the in-game video settings now we're gonna move to the video config file so hopping over onto our desktop the next thing we want to do to access our video config files is you want to go to your search bar and search out save once you open the folder um, you want to click on the respawn folder, the apex folder, the local folder, and then go to your video config.txt. So these should be something similar to the settings you're looking at. Um, these are kind of the default settings without any changes made. But the changes we're going to make are this one right here, DL particle fallback base to three. I'm going to change DL particle fallback multiplier to two. We're going to change CL ragdoll self collision to zero. And we're going to change stream memory to 
million. Going to change particle CPU level to zero. R underscore LOD underscore switch scale to 0 0.2. Next, we're going to change our DSM underscore enabled to zero and our CSM coverage to zero. Then we're going to go down to our gamma settings. I usually play 0.7. That's just what I prefer. So once you're done with all of these, you want to save the file, close out of it, and you want to make sure you right click on it, go to properties and click read only and apply. What this is going to do is it's going to make sure that when you open your game, it's not going to revert these settings back to default. But the downside of this is whenever you change your video file settings, you're going to have to come to here, click properties, uncheck read only, change them in your game or in the file, and then re check read only and apply again. Otherwise, your video config files will get reset to the default. That is it for the video config. Next, we are going to add our auto exec file. What you first want to do on your desktop is open Steam, right click on Apex Legends, go to manage, go to browse local files. And you're going to click on the CFG folder. And what you first want to do is copy your config file, like this. paste or control V. So you're going to open this file and you see it's going to be what we copied from the other one. You're going to click on the link in the description to take you to this paste bin right here that contains the entire auto exec. You're going to click on raw. You're going to press control A and copy the entire contents. Then you're going to take that, control A, delete, paste it like that. Then you're going to save that. Make sure you save it. You're going to close out of it. You're going to go here and you're going to rename this to auto exec that. Make sure it is spelled exactly like that. You need to have that exact name or it will not work. Um, you can set this to read only if you want. Um, you don't have to, but I would suggest doing so. Next, what you need to do is you need to go to Steam, right click on Apex Legends, go to Properties, and in the Launch Options, you need to put Plus Deck. It needs to be exactly like that. And you need to make sure you put it in there, otherwise your auto exec will not work and it won't do anything. Continuing on the launch options, I have a few more commands I put in there to help increase the FPS or let the game run better. They're going to be in the description of the video, so just copy paste them in like that. Um, going to be it for the launch options. The next thing I would like to cover is my NVIDIA settings and my NVIDIA vibrant settings. So if you right click your desktop, go to NVIDIA control panel. Once it opens, go to adjust desktop color settings um, and my digital vibrance I have on 100. This may seem pretty, pretty, pretty vibrant to some people, but I've played on such high vibrant settings that I like I cannot go back to 50. It just looks too, it looks too desaturated for me. But yeah, I'd say you should run something like 80, 70, 65. It's all it's all personal preference. I I just prefer my game to be way more vibrant. To go to manage 3D settings. And real quickly, and real quickly, I'm just going to scroll through all of these. I can't exactly explain what they all do. I just know that these specific settings help you get the the most FPS out of your game and reduce input delay. Yeah. So that is that settings. Um, other than that, that is all I have changed in my NVIDIA control panel. 
addition to all the other settings, um, another thing I would like to show you that can make your game brighter, make enemies easier to see, especially in dark areas, would be um, a NVIDIA filter. Um, unfortunately, it only works for people with uh, NVIDIA cards. But if you want to use this to make your game more visible, then um, I'm going to press Alt-Z. I'm going to go to the game filters. Put in this right here. I want to copy these. Brightness and contrast. I already have it right here. Brightness and contrast. And then you copy these numbers right here. And then you go and click and then add details and copy these numbers right here. Once you have that done, you click done. Make sure it's that. And you can tell that my game is much brighter. You can see the difference here. Um, the only downside to this is it may reduce FPS. You see right here, I'm running about 120. Um, if I go back here, turn it off. Now I'm getting back up 130, 144. So the frame drop can be pretty bad, but if you have like a pretty high end PC, you're running the 3090, then I'd say it's honestly worth it. But yeah, once again, it is only for NVIDIA card users. So. So regarding all the changes to the game, that is going to be it. You can see right now I'm running a pretty, pretty steady 144. My game is capped at 144. You can see if I spin around pretty fast, it's gonna go, it's gonna go lower because it's loading a lot of frames. But if I'm sitting here just shooting, it's gonna be a steady 144. I also just wanted to add that you're getting trouble with FPS still. Even after these settings, you might want to try changing your extra streaming budget down to very low or none. With the texture streaming budget very low, they're very smooth out like this. You see, very, very basic. If you look at the rocks, they're very like the void of texture. That will usually help increase your FPS a bit too. So. Yeah, I've been using these for quite some time and they help a lot. Um, and yeah, that's about it. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like, leave a comment. And if you want to see more, um, click the sub button and turn notifications on to not miss out on another upload. Um, I will be releasing more videos probably like this, I think. If you have any problems with the settings, or any of the config files then hit me up on discord i'll put the link to my community server in the description so join dm me if you have any problems and i'll try to help you with them um the credit for these i know the nvidia filters i got those from complies on yt and a lot of my auto exec comes from Lyric and Complies. Well, I think it's from Complies. I think it's just the one Lyric uses as well. So credit to them. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So if you enjoyed the video, like I said, leave a like, leave a comment and drop a sub if you want. And thank you for watching. Catch you next time.